Robocop, Robo Dog, Robo Doctor? So do you remember the autonomous surgery pod in Ridley Scott's Prometheus? How far away are we from something like that? Well, not as far away as you might think. Telesurgery, the future of medicine. Da Vinci robots are often used for robotic surgeries. They are minimally invasive, efficient, and precise. They can even eliminate any hand tremors that occur on the surgeon's behalf. The arms of the robot are initially covered in sterile sleeves that will be removed after surgery. Small incisions are made at strategic points on the body, and the arms are carefully docked within these incisions. The robotic arms can be moved at any time to change out tools, such as staplers, suction, cauterizing forceps, and many more. Once the arms are docked, the surgeon can scrub out and step away from the operating table. They will then sit down in front of the control hub of the robot. The robot provides a clear view of whatever the camera is pointed at. The robot has two handheld endo wrist instruments and foot pedals to allow for a range of motions far wider than what the surgeon could normally do with just their hands. Currently, the robotic arms performing the surgery and the control hub housing surgeon manipulating the robot are only a few feet apart in the same operating room. With telesurgery, the robotic arms and the surgeon controlling them can be thousands of miles apart. This means amazing things for the world of medicine. Astronauts in space? Soldiers fighting overseas? And naval officers and submarines could all receive care from some of the top-notch surgeons in the world. Medical care would not be limited by distance. This could eliminate the cost and tediousness of travel. This is all powered by the Internet of Things, or IoT for short the concept of all our objects becoming interconnected. As our society is progressively becoming more digital and interconnected, our medicine must follow suit. So where do you fit in? In order for telesurgery to become commonplace, the world needs engineers, mathematicians, computer scientists, and of course surgeons. A multitude of STEM field careers contribute to telesurgery you could be one of the people pushing the field of medicine forward. Uh, I went into the STEM field because you know, I like science a lot and there's a lot of job security within the field and I just, I've always found it interesting. I've known I wanted to be a doctor since sixth grade so obviously medicine falls within the STEM majors and I knew Clemson would be a good place to do that. I got introduced to the Da Vinci robot and I got to see my first robotic surgery and they are really, really cool. I mean, it's, there's no way I can really explain it that to convey how amazing it is until you're actually in there. I went to JL Man High School. I took a lot of AP science courses there to go ahead and get a good chunk of my major knocked out ahead of time. And that really helped because I skipped a lot of really hard classes my freshman year. Don't be afraid to change your mind. College is a place to do that. You're never stuck in one place, so you could come in a chemistry major and leave a bio major. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I know the two are similar, similar, but you can do whatever you want, and I think with a STEM degree, you kind of put yourself in a really good position for a lot of careers.